With the increase of modern day technological devices, video files has become part of our day to day life. You can easily record high quality video with digital camera, mobile phone, and even your tablet. And that's where Filmora comes in. Wondershare Filmora is an easy to use video editor that can make your editing experience a great fun. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the easiest and effective way to edit your video in Filmora Video Editor. Hello, this is Frederick from the Lowney Creative Studio, where we share with you how to make better use of technology. So let's get started. This is a small window you're going to see the very first time you launch your Wondershell Filmora Video Editor. Let us start by checking our project aspect with you. So I'm going to click on this arrow here to show you the list of sizes that we have available here. We have a 16 by 9, which is a white screen, and we have Instagram and the rest that you're seeing below here. So when we launch the main interface, of femoral i'm going to show you how to create a custom aspect review so let's check this right side so on the right side you are seeing my previous project this is visible because i've used wondershare femora to edit few videos in the past in your case this area might be empty so don't bother yourself about it so we have the option here to also open previous projects. But in a case, I'm going to leave uh, an aspect ratio to 16 by 9 and I'm going to click on new project. Now, this is the main interface of Femora. So I'm going to start by explaining the items up here by the left and I'll explain the function of the rest of the buttons on the go. So let's start with the media folder. Here we have a uh, media folder. This is where we'll import all our footage, where we import our video clips, we import our images, audio files, and more. And now we have uh, our audio file here. When we click on here, we have the audio library. This is Wondershare Femora Audio Library, where we have uh, few many songs that you can use for your project should in case you want you want to import your own music we have the option right below here to import your own background music so let's jump to title I'm gonna click on included we have a bunch of them here we have a bunch of them. We have uh, titles, we have lower third, we have openings, we have subtitle, bunch, a whole bunch of them here to add to your project. The next is the transition. So after some cut, you might want to smooth in the video by adding transitions. We also have effects here. So this is more or less like Instagram filters. We also have overlay, we have uh, slots to lots to. The next is the elements. We have a few elements here that can be useful for your project. And last but not the least, we have the split screen. This gives you the option to create a split screen. This black area here is a playback or preview area. This is where you're going to see most of the magic being carried out. And below here we have a timeline where we'll be doing most of the cutting and joining. Below here we have the undo button, we have the redo button, and we have this delete button. We have the scissors that allow us to split our footage. And here we have uh, editing options, additional editing options. Here we have the render preview button. We have the marker button here 
and we have the voice over icon here. This is a main audio mixer. This is the zoom in and also the zoom out. And below here we have our audio meter. Now that you know the functions of most of these buttons, let's import in our footage. So I'm going to click on media folder again. And I'm going to click right inside here. So this is the main video that I want to import in. So I'm going to select it and I'll click on open. So I'm going to delete it again to show you another way to do this. You can import in your video by clicking right here also. You click, you can import in the entire folder that contains your video or you can import in a single file here. You can also import from your camera or vid or phone. Another way to do this is to click on file, go to import media, click on import media, and now it takes you to the place where you can locate your video. So I'm going to click on this video and I'm going to click on open. So now we have a video already imported into Femora. So another thing I'd like to show you here is that Filmora gives it an option to use some samples colors and sample videos. We have all right here. If you don't want to mess around with your video to learn, you can use the sample video here. So let's go back to a project media here. So now I'm going to drag this to a timeline. Now we have this one in here. So I record that this is a video 920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. So and it's, uh, the, the size, the settings of our project here is 920, 1080, 25 frames per second. So Fimora is asking you here that the resolution of the video that you're about to import to the timeline is different from the project setting. So I want to maintain my 24 frames per second. So I'm going to select this one. All right. So our video has been imported in to the timeline. So what I want to do here is I want to try to zoom in a little bit our video. I'm going to zoom in a little and this can be done also by dragging right here on top here any area here you drag to the left or to the right or to the left the same thing can be achieved by doing this all right so i want to see the entire video so let's assume that you want to import another one you can still go through the same process by double clicking on this empty space here you double click, you can import a different video in. You see now we have two videos in here. But in my case, I want to work with only this one. So I'm going to delete this video. Okay, so let's continue. Now I want to cut off part of this video. So how do I go about this? I think from this area. So another thing that can be done is you can drag this down and drag this up to see both your video and the audio in a larger size. This really have a lot in editing. So I'm going to position this here. Then I'm going to play to see if this is the area that I wanted. I can stretch a little bit so I can see better. So I'm going to place it here and I'm going to click on the play button. With the increase of modern day technological devices, video files has become part of our day to day life. You can easily record high quality video with digital camera, mobile phone, and even your tablet. 
And that is where the I'm going to stop here where I say even your tablet. This is, let me stretch a little bit more so we can see this better. Yes. I'm going to go by a little bit and I want to stop exactly where I said even your tablet. Mobile phone and even your tablet exactly here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it here just by clicking on the scissors icon here. And I'm going to do this, the same thing to this very beginning here. So now let me zoom in a little bit. I don't need this part of this video again. So I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to click delete. So let's play again to see if I actually get it right. With the increase of modern day technological devices, video files has become part of our day to day life. You can easily record high quality video with digital camera, mobile phone, and even your tablet. All right. I'm going to drag this a little bit to the front and uh, let me play here. And even your tablet. Exactly. I got this one right. So I'm going to zoom in again to locate my next video. I think it's around here. Let me play this. I'm going to start playing from here. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the easy. No. Uh, then it's going to be around this area here. I want to be sure is this. Let me play it and see. And that is where Femora comes in. What? It's going to be exactly, I think, uh, here. And that's why, no, I got it wrong. Let me on. Oh, let me stop and I'm going to stretch out these a little bit more. So I think it's just right here. And that's where Femora comes in. Wondershare Femora is an easy to use video editor that can make your editing experience a great fun. Exactly. So what I want to do is I want to cut this one from here. I'm going to click on the scissors icon here. I'm going to drag it to the edge here. And I'm also going to cut. I'm going to zoom in again because I want to take out this very part. So this very part, I'm dragging it towards here. So this is going to be my next video. So I'm going to join it together. Now we have one, two. So the last one I want to take, I think it's going to be around here. Let me play this. I'm going to zoom out a little bit to see, and I'm going to click play. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the easiest and effective way to edit your video in Filmora Video Editor. Hello, this is Frederick from the Lion Credit Studio where we share with you how to make better use of technology. So let's get started. Exactly. So I'm going to play this here and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to place here too. And I'm going to cut it. Actually, video editing software is like you are playing a Tetris game. It's you're playing with blocks here. So this part, I don't want it again, so I'm going to delete it. Select and click delete here. So I want to drag this here. Let me play to be sure. This is going to learn the easier. Exactly. So I'm going to zoom in and this, I'm going to delete it. Select all this together and I'm going to delete it. This is all what I wanted. So now let's. Let's zoom out. I'm going to click again to zoom out. I think this is too long, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Yes, we have this. I want us to be seeing all these, uh, I mean, uh, the video on the timeline. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more so I can see this uh, empty space here. As you can see, we have empty space right from here to the right. So I want to 
This time I want to drag a little bit towards here. So I'm going to check the rest of the clip. I have here too, we have this empty space here. So what I'm going to do is select the video. Then I'm going to, when you see this little sign, then I'm going to drag a little bit more to the left. I'm going to check this also. I think we have the same thing here too. So I'm going to drag a little bit to the left. And I'm going to check the beginning of our clip. If you look here, we also have this empty space. Here. I'm going to zoom out even more. So we have this here. I'm going to place the line here. And this time I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag it. Oh, sorry. I'm going to drag exactly. Can you see how easy it is to work with Femura? So now that we're satisfied with the project that we have on a timeline, I want us to add a transition. Let me click here and play so you can see what I'm talking about. The tablet. And that's where, so this very, this particular place where the video jump him. So I want us to add a little transition here to smooth the, the, the transition between this video to this one. So, you know, we have splitted our video into three parts here. So in between each video, I'm going to add a transition. So in between here for now, I'm going to go to the transition area right on top here. You know, we have bunch of transition here. It is advisable that you don't use an extra uh, vegan uh, transition like this one. I'm going to double click to preview it. This honestly doesn't look professional. So let's look for a very simple but uh, professional transition here. So to check any transition, just double click on it. I think this is okay. I'm going to double click on this one too. This is not bad at all. Let me double click on this. I think this will be okay for us. Oh, let's try this. Let's use this one. I'm going to drag. I'm going to play it out to see. Even your tablet. And that's where Femora. You see that? Even your tablet. You see that? I think this is cool. I'm going to click again, even your tablet. And that's where Femora. I love this. Even your tablet. And that's where Femora. All right. So I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here. And let's check now. Tablet. And that's where Femora. I think this is okay. So we are going to have another one right in between this video here. So let's use the same. So this time I think I'm going to make it smaller, even more smaller. I'm going to play here. Fun. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the easy fun. Uh, let me check now again. Great fun. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the easy great fun. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the and think I think that's okay. So I'm going to make this one. Also smaller. Late. And that's where Femora comes in. That is it for transition. You can also have transition right in front at the beginning of your video and also at the back of your video. So I advise you play around with all the bunch of transition that we have here and select the one of your choice. All they played a very big role in your video project. So let's have a look on how you can make your audio sound better than Femora. So I'm going to play once again a video, but I want us to focus on the audio meter here. With the increase of modern day technological devices, as you can see here, our audio is clipping because it's entering into the red area. This is not a good audio. So how do we go about it? How do we modify this? How do we correct this? So we're going to click on this icon here 
the audio mixer. So I'm going to click on the icon and this small window is going to pop out here. So I'm going to play again a audio, but I want you to focus on this master area here. With the increase of modern day, as you can see that our audio is crossing to the red line. So your audio should be in the green or the orange line, but shouldn't pass the orange line. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag this little guy here until I get to minus 12. Or you can type in right here below minus 12. So let me play again now so you can see the difference. Video files has become part of our day to day life. You can easily record high quality video with digital camera, mobile phone. As you can notice, the volume of a audio has come down a little bit and now it's not passing to the red area. So if you want to increase a little bit more, you can do that a little bit more. Just make sure that you are not crossing to the red area. So after making all the changes, you click on OK. So if you look here, the wave sign has changed a little bit. Now that we've corrected our audio file, so I want us to import audio background or background music. This can be done by clicking on the audio library here. I'm going to click on include it. As you can see in Fimura Audio Library, we have a bunch of music here for your use. We also have sound effect. So now, should in case you want to import your own audio, like I said at the beginning of this video, you can scroll down below. Here we have the option to import our own background music. So I'm going to click here to import my own background music that I've downloaded from YouTube audio library. So I want to say that you should be very careful of the song that you're going to add to your project just to avoid copyright problem. There are many platforms where you can download free background music. So I'm going to add some of the links in the description below. So let's import a background music. So I'm going to click here. You click in here and let's go locate a hold. I'm going to click on music. So now I have this here. So I'm just going to select and I'm going to click open. So now we have a audio background music imported right into Wondershare Femur. So I'm just going to drag it to the timeline just the way we did with our video. So because I don't want these to be too high, I'm going to drag this line right here to bring this, the volume down a little bit, as you can see here. Or we can do it the other way by right clicking, click on adjust audio and we're bringing down right here. So as I'm dragging it up and down, you can see the wave form is changing. So I want this to be around here. So I'm going to play it to see. With the increase of modern day technological devices, video files has become part of our day to day life. You can easily record. I think this is okay. So what I want to do is I want to cut from here. I want to, I want to cut this part off. So we're going to do the same thing by clicking on the scissors here or clicking on this one. So we've cut this part off. So I'm going to delete this particular area here. So now I don't want this song to just hand like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play. Let me drag here. So let's get started. I don't want it to just hand that uh, in that very harsh way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Alt on my keyboard and select the point here. Now you can see we have a circle here. So I'm going to do the same right here, pressing down the Alt on the keyboard and I'm going to do the same thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this one down so that that song can hand smoothly. 
I'm gonna drag it a little bit down. Exactly. So let me play this now to see. To make better use of technology. So let's get started. I think that is better. When I'm satisfied with these, I just have to click on OK. So now we've added a background music to a project. Now that we are satisfied with the background music that we have added to a project, so let me walk you through how to add a voice over to your video project. So this can be done by clicking on this microphone icon here and this small window is going to pop up. So make sure that you, you click, you, you check this mute project box and your microphone is selected. So now I'm going to start by clicking on this record button. Hello, this is Frederick from the Lioness Creative Studio. And right now I am showing you how to make a voice hover in Filmora Video Editor, one of the best video editing software ever. As you can see, we've made a voice hover in Wondershare Filmora. So what I'm going to do right now is to play a voice over. I'm going to bring down the volume of a clip. And I'm going to click on play. Hello, this is Frederick from the Lioness Creative Studio. And right now I am showing you how to make a voice hover in Filmora Video Editor, one of the best video editing software ever. The next on the list is to add our titles. So I'm going to go to the title section. We have a bunch of them here also. So I'm going to look for a lower toad where I mentioned my name. So I think I'm going to look for, let's look around and see. I think this is okay. So to see it, to preview it, just double click on it. So my name is going to go here. So I'm going to, I've already selected the place where I mentioned my name right here. So I'm just going to drag and drop this right here. So if I click on it to play now, this is Frederick from the Lionel Creative Studio where we can see that. So I think I can drag a little bit here. Let me take this here. I will drag a little bit here also. Let me play. Hello, this is Frederick from the Lionel Creative Studio. Exactly. So how do I edit this and add my name here? This can be done just by double clicking on the text here so we have this here but i'm gonna click on we can just modify i mean correct my i had my name here so let me type in frederick but if you want to tweak this more and uh, add more features you can just go to advanced Right here in advance, we have the option to change the colors, uh, reduce opacity, hard blur, uh, make hard borders. As you can see, we have the border here. You can change the color. You can have, I mean, uh, what with the opacity, you can have shadows and many other stuff that we have right in, in here. So if you're satisfied with this, you can also save this as a custom preset. Just by clicking on this, save as custom here. Type in the name and click OK. So the next time you want to use this same style, this text style, you can easily select without doing it afresh. So when you're satisfied with your project, click OK. So now we have this lower toad right in here. Isn't that awesome? So when you're satisfied with the changes, you're going to click again this OK here. Effects played a very big role in video editing. So I want us to have a little look on effect that we have available in Filmora. 
So we have a lot of effects here. So I'm going to click on these are down here so you can see we have a lot of filter. Like I said earlier, uh, these are like Instagram filter. So if you click on it, you're going to see exactly what it does. With the increase of modern day technology, could have so I click on each, I'm going to see exactly what it does. So I'm going to undo this. So we have overlays here too that can be used. So when you click on it, automatically it shows you what each effect does. We have lots too. I'm going to double click on this one and I'm going to drag this to this video. Can you see that? So I'm going to undo this. I also want us to check the elements area. We have few elements here. We have arrows, we have stuff that can serve you in your project, depends on your need. So we have this uh, electric energy. So if I click on it and I apply it to my video, we have it right on top here. So I'm going to click to play on the Leonid Credit Studio. You see that? So this might serve you for your project. A final step here is to color correct our video to make it look even more professional. So I'm going to click on this little icon here. And here we have the color correction and we have color match. So we're going for this color correction. I'm going to click on color correction. And we have this little window pop up. So here we have a lot of presets, exactly like Instagram presets. So I'm going to click on this one. Automatically, you see the changes. So I'm going to click on these. You can see the changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the changes. And now we have this other section here, adjust. So I'm going to click on adjust. So they adjust give us more privilege to color correct our video. So if you click on hot tool, you see what happened. So we don't want to use that. So I'm going to undo this. So right here we have, so let me click on this uh, little arrow here. Then I'm going to click on white balance. So I'm going to walk a little bit. If you want your video to be a little bit warmer, we drag it towards the right. If you want it to be a little bit cooler, you drag it towards the left. So I'm going to drag a little bit to the right to make this a little bit warmer. The tint, I'm going to leave it exactly the way it is. Then I'm going to go to 3D lots. So we have lots here something similar to what we saw earlier. So I'm going to click on Spartan 300. You see what happened here. So I don't want this, so I'm going to undo it. So you can select any of these if it's fitting to your project. I'm going to undo it. So I think I'm done in this section. So I'm going to collapse it. I'm going to collapse exit this and I'm going to go to color. So as you can see in this section, we have a uh, more possibility of color correcting her video. So we have the, expo the exposure when you drag to the right side, it's more brighter. When you drag to the left side, it's more darker. So we have to be very careful here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this a little bit more to the left. And the brightness, the same thing we have here. This affects the white area of your video. Why this affect the dark area. So I'm going to play a little bit with this also. I think I'm going to leave it uh, in zero for now. So we have the contrast. The contrast I'm going to drag a little bit to two. The vibrance I think I'm going to leave it exactly the way it is. Uh, I'll leave it in zero. You can type in. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to drag it exactly to zero. It's in zero. The saturation. We drag more. 
this is what you get. If you drag to the left, this is what you get to make your video black and white. So the saturation, I think I'm going to leave it a little bit uh, around, around two. And I'm going to collapse this two. And I'm going to go to light. We have the highlight, we have the shadow, we have the white, and we have the black. The highlight, you see what is, is happening here. So I think I'm okay right here with three. My shadows, I'm gonna leave exactly around minus two. And we also have the white here, so you want to be very careful so that you don't overexpose your video. So while you're doing all these, make sure you are looking at the video and the preview area here to see the outcome of what you're doing. So the black. So I'm going to leave it right around here and I'm going to collapse this. We have the HSL. If you want to play around with hue, saturation and luminance, I think mine, I'm going to leave it like that. And we have vignette. I actually doesn't use vignette, but if you want to use it here, we, you can play around with it. I think uh, this is okay. So now if you want to check after before and after, you click on this arrow here. This is before and this is after. Before and after. Or you can use this option here. When you click, just select side by side view. So now you see the before and this is the after. Or you can also check like this. This is your before and this is the after. Another way, this is before and top and this is after below. But I think the side, side by side is is better because you see it better so i think we are good i'm going to disable this i'm going to have a little bit of saturation here not much So, like I said, you can play around with this uh, until you are satisfied. We have the histogram that shows you exactly what's going on here. So you can play around with it until you are satisfied with uh, your project. So when you are set with this, when you're satisfied with this, you can also save this color adjustment as a preset just by clicking on this. And let's say my preset, a color adjustment. And click OK. So next time when you want to color correct your video, you can use this customized preset for your video. So after that, I'm just going to click on OK. So after double checking that you are satisfied with your project, the next thing in the list is to export your video. This can be done in two ways. You can click right on export here. And, create, and click on create video. Or you can click on this quick export button here. So I'm gonna click on export. And here we have a, a option here. Uh, we have the MP4 and you can select any format of your choice here. So you can name your project And also select where you want to export your project to. So I'm going to click on this. I want to export my project to the same folder, Femora. So I'm going to click select folder. So now I'm going to export right to this folder. Uh, we have a resolution here. So if you still want to change your resolution, you can click on settings there and change your resolution here. 
So another thing I want to do here is I'm going to click on settings again and I'm going to check good. The best quality. Then I'm going to click OK. You also want to be sure that you have the encoder to H.264. The encoder H.264. And I'm going to leave the rest exactly the word it is and I'm going to click OK. You can also export in this device format. You can export directly to YouTube, to Vimeo. You can also export to DVD. But in my case, I'm going to export locally. I'm just going to click on export. Hey, I hope you find today's video valuable. If that is the case, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you're here for the first time, please consider subscribing to this channel for more valuable videos of this kind. And I'll see you in the next video.